Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And guys, in this video, I'm going to continue to motivate people to increase their value. It doesn't it doesn't matter how much money you have in the bank. That's the matrix manipulating you into thinking that. You have a lot of millionaires with no values. They have a lot of zeros, but they don't have no value. Your monetary net worth and your moral net worth the net worth of your standards and your spiritual values that's where the wealth is guys don't worship money what you think about R. Kelly now what do you think about P. Diddy now they don't have any value they're not worth anything once your name is tarnished, once your reputation is ruined, you're toxic. No one wants to be around you. No one wants to talk to you. Your value has diminished. Guys, your value is in your reputation, your name, who you are. That's what a value is. The value is keeping your name clean. Not a scammer. Not a cheat. Not a coward. Not a snitch. The value is in your name. It's not in a car, numbers, or watch. It's not in your bank account. They can take that from you. You don't own this stuff for real. You're just borrowing it. They can take all this stuff from you. Get in legal trouble And the first thing they're going to do Is freeze your account They're going to confiscate your cars That's the first thing they're going to do Because they, they know that you identify With your money But if you identify with the universe What, what are they going to take? They're going to take some trees? What are they going to take from you? They're going to take the moon and the stars? They're going to take your dignity? What are they going to take your consciousness? They've, they've been exposed. They can't take your knowledge. See? And they know that. See, for those who know, for the chosen ones who know that true value is in who you are, the matrix come at you with that one too. So if, so if taken... Your money is not enough. The matrix go out their way. Then they go on a smear campaign. They want to tarnish your reputation. That's what they know. That's what the real value is. In smearing your name. And tarnishing your reputation. Making false claims against you. False accusations. See that's, what, that's how the matrix knows how to attack you. Hold on, guys. See, guys, this is what happens when you have money but no values. When you are a snake for the matrix, when you are a rat for the matrix, and you don't have any values, your name is trash. Your game is trash. 6 9 arrested in Florida for a no-show in a court amid massive credit card debt. The guy owed $120,000. That's nothing. He owed $120,000 in credit card debt. But folks come at poor people for being financially irresponsible. But here we got a rich person 
that is financially irresponsible. The dude failed to show up in court. He owed American Express one hundred and twenty thousand. Here it is right here. This comes after American Express tried to take money from the rapper's various other bank accounts. It seems like not even jail time is enough to scare 6 9 to paying his six-figure credit card debt to American Express. Moreover, according to Page Six, authorities recently arrested the rapper in Florida, Palm Beach County, on Wednesday for failing to appear in court. This, this, this is old news, I'm just saying. I'm just, I'm just reading the full content sake. Unless this is an entirely different case unknown to the public, you might have heard this development in relation to his credit card debts. <clears throat> Just yesterday, as of writing this article, August 9th, American Express reportedly sent out a subpoena to begin taking money from his other bank accounts to pay the nearly 120,000 unpaid fees. It's, un it's still unclear how much this will actually affect his finances or if he will try to reach some sort of deal. See, this is what happens when you worship money. You won't even pay. Oh, yeah, this this yeah, this is a few years old. But the point I'm trying to make is um, updated August 15, 2023. So it's a year old. But the point I'm trying to make is that rich people are irresp more irresponsible than poor people. It's just poor, it's just rich people can afford to stay out of the media, and poor people can't because everybody come after the poor person. Everybody like to hate on the poor person. Because they're easier target to, to, to bully. See? It's easier to bully poor people. Oh, all y'all are broke. All y'all don't, don't have any money, blah, blah. You know, just say stupid stuff. About somebody who's financially illiterate because of the school system. Did it on purpose. But you want to blame the poor person for being poor and for making poor financial decisions. When you know the matrix is running the program. You know the matrix is running pro, a program to exploit poor people, to underpay poor people, to cheat poor people. You know that. So don't play ignorant. Don't play dumb like you don't know the matrix is a freaking scam. It's like going to a casino and you're you going to blame the gambler for being cheated by a casino. That, that's all they do is cheat. they cheaters. All the machines are rigged. Everybody know the machines are rigged. Okay, we're gonna get a, the gambler some responsibility. He should, but he's addicted. He got an addiction. Now I'm not saying that he shouldn't be a held accountable for his bad decisions, bad behavior, gambling away his money. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that the system is rigged, and if a gambler goes to to to, to, to Caesar's Palace and he keep winning. You know what they're going to do? They're going to ban him from coming in there because they know he's not supposed to win. So they're going to ban him from coming in there and keep winning. They're going to think he's cheating. They're going to be like, hold on. They're going to be like, hold on. We are the cheaters. You can't come in here and cheat. This is private property. We we the only ones that can cheat. So if you go in there and you cheat, they're going to put you out of the casino. See, guys, so that's what I'm saying. So, guys, you know, you got to realize that you've been manipulated to hate. You don't want to hate on the real cheaters and the scammers that's sending billions of dollars overseas or with all these, these shell companies and these offshore bank accounts. You don't want to focus on that. You want to focus on the, on the single mother that's getting some stupid-ass welfare checks. That's, I mean, come on, guys. How low can you go? How low can you go? And wealthy people, they're not even worried about that stuff. It's the poor little rats running around in the streets gossiping. The little poor little middle class rats that got to go to work 30 hours a day gossiping and crying about everything. Ungrateful. Bitter. Spiteful. Like I empathize with the, with, the, with the poor person on welfare. I don't care if they got Jordans on. I don't care about that little stuff. Because I know, I know it don't mean anything. I know they've been manipulated into making bad decisions. And then making bad purchases. Just like, just like the, wealth, the wealthy person have been manipulated into eating bad. Taking pharmaceutical drugs. Now they diabetic. Now they got cancer. Wealthy people too. Dying of pancreatic cancer. 
dying of lung cancer. What the people smoke cigarettes too? They they got tricked too. They not they not living any longer than the poor person. And if they do, they die in longer, if anything, because of the, because of their money. But how do they get their money? Wars, drugs. I mean, you you just don't know. So, like I said before, two hundred fifty thousand dollars is nothing. The value is in your knowledge, your awareness. You, you have to resurrect your consciousness and stop walking around here like a dead zombie, worshiping money and, and, and the matrix and, and, and whatever else they give you to worship. Because you wor you worship anything. People will worship another person, freaking the pastor, cars, jewelry, houses. We just, we don't have no values. No values at all. Just we worship anything. Whatever the major say worship, we start worshiping. We want to worship the LGBT, we'll worship them. We want to worship the flag, we'll go worship the flag. Worship the rainbow, worship the rainbow. It's, it's ridiculous. But anyway, guys, I know I went out on, on, on a little rant right there. I'm just showing you. If you listen to what the words that I'm saying, I'm showing you how ignorant people are. How hateful and bitter people are. If you got your six figure your your six figure income and you're making good financial decisions, why are you making videos and commenting about other people that's poor and making bad decisions? So what they're making bad decisions? You you made bad decisions probably at some point in your relationships and your eating habits. Just go and live your happy life. You got your money, go and live your life. Why are you looking back? Hating. That's social media for you. A bunch of hating losers and clowns just running around here trying to gaslight people. Okay, guys. That's it for this video, guys. Guys, keep your house clean. Keep your life clean. Keep your mind clean. Keep your diet clean. Keep your car clean. And guys, download and deploy your anti-mind virus software. Debug and unplug from the matrix. Drink spring water every day. As much as you can, as much as you can. Drink spring water every day. Clean up your diet, guys. Try to eat clean. Eggs, avocado, organic eggs, organic avocados, organic rice. Sardines. Maybe a salad here and there. Organic nuts here and there. You gotta be careful with the nuts because they get yeah, I'll buy the really nice food be digesting nuts, but you know, I'm just saying. Especially walnuts. Don't do not eat a walnuts that are not organic. They are spray they spray them with a very violent chemical. It will tear your stomach up. Trust me. That's why trust me, just trust me. Anyway, after that guys, I'm signing off. Contraband 777 signing off guys. Until next time, guys, go and conquer yourself. Stop worrying about other people. And that's been the habits. Worry about yourself. Conquer yourself. Don't go look for the devil in the Democratic Party. Don't go look for the devil in the Republican Party. Don't go look for the devil, devil at, at, the, um, at the grocery store. Look in the mirror and conquer your own demons. Worry about yourself. Until next time, guys, go and conquer yourself. Peace.